Remember back a long time ago, and you've seen movies where people in those slave ships, and they're down there, and they're rowing, and they're being whipped to row? We're saying, how are they going to keep powering these electric airplanes? What are they going to have? It's like a spin class in a tube where where they've got everybody riding spin cycles and then those mean, nasty airline stewardess that force you to wear masks all the time on the planes back when we were forced to wear masks. Are they gonna be forcing you to like keep spinning to keep the airplane in the air? Ah oh, yes, electricity, batteries are too difficult a concept for Republican Georgia Congresswoman Marjorie Taylor Greene. Greene was speaking there at a conservative youth summit. One might understand if a toddler didn't understand certain things like physics and propulsion and design and engineering but a grown-up adult woman? Oh, and does Green think that electric cars are powered by bicycling? And did you catch the sexism there? Who describes flight attendants in this day and age as airline stewardesses? I mean, talk about sexism. Oh, and Green also dabbled in a little bit of racism there by seeming to be amused at the image of slave ships and people being whipped in order to help power those ships. Green made the comparison between slave ships and electric planes because of some news that is coming out of Canada. Air Canada, get this, has ordered 30 electric airplanes. Yeah, electric airplanes. How about that? Electric airplanes. So, I mean, it, it shouldn't surprise you. Look who's the president of, I mean, Justin Trudeau, right? No, not right. Justin Trudeau is the prime minister, not the president, the prime minister of Canada. In Canada, the head of state is the prime minister, the person whose party has the most number of seats in a part of the legislature known as the House of Commons, part of the parliament. That person is the head of state. They are the prime minister. And again, perhaps Marjorie Taylor Greene and her ignorance of Canada should be expected given all of her ignorance on so many other things. And this has been a very busy week for the Congresswoman from Georgia. Just in the past couple of days, she introduced articles of impeachment against U.S. Attorney General Merrick Garland. It was a few months ago when she introduced articles of impeachment against President Joe Biden. Green also took time this week to stomp on the foot of a gun rights activist. That activist had the audacity to try and question Marjorie Taylor Greene on Capitol Hill. Green didn't like that the person was getting close, so when the person had her back to Green, Green went ahead and stomped on her foot. On top of engaging in violence, spewing sexism, dabbling in racism, and promoting her ignorance of all things related to Canada, electricity, and batteries, there are, of course, other controversies over Marjorie Taylor Greene that go back a couple of years. It wasn't that long ago when Greene suggested that 9-11 was an inside job. Greene claimed that Barack Obama was a Muslim. Greene said that the Clintons had JFK Jr. killed. Greene endorsed executing Democratic leaders, including House Speaker Nancy Pelosi. She said that the California wildfires... Uh, had been started by Jewish space lasers. Green wrote on Facebook this was some sort of plot by Jewish families to make money from insurance. And then, of course, Green claimed that the 2020 elections had been stolen. Um, the reaction on social media to Green's latest nonsense has been pretty remarkable. Uh, there are a couple of people who have written and said, look, I grew up in Georgia in the 1980s like Marjorie Taylor Green. All of us kids knew back then, even in Georgia, about electricities and batteries. There is a silver lining, though, to all of this. Just when you think that Congresswoman Lauren Boebert or Congressman Louis Gohmert are the dumbest members of Congress, Marjorie Taylor Greene essentially says, hold my beer. She opens her mouth and Greene removes all doubt that, no, Marjorie Taylor Greene is the stupidest member of Congress. How could anybody be this dumb? Anytime Greene opens her mouth, you're going to be asking this question over and over again. I'm David Schuster. Thanks for joining us. Tell me what you think in the comment section.